Justin Jermina from DragonBlogger.com here, and I'm showing you how I was able to create a Discord role for live streamers on my channel by using an online bot without having to create my own bot. A lot of people have to create their own custom bots with their own scripts and, and hooks to do this, but I did find a bot online that could do this. So what I wanted was, I wanted a bot for my Discord channel that whenever somebody goes into live streaming or does live streaming, it would automatically assign them a role of live streaming and put them in the live stream role. That way it shows them the streaming and users can easily go visit, watch them. You can see Val on 22 streaming right now. Um, and it would just automatically put them in and out of the role the moment they were live streaming. I've seen other Twitch groups do this. And when I ask them how they do it, they'll use custom bots. But I found an online bot that'll do that. So I'm going to show you how to set that up for your Discord channel. The first thing you want to do is set up a role. Under your service settings, under your roles, you're going to want to create a live stream role. Now, the way Discord displays roles, you're going to want to make sure your live streaming role is above, drag it above your other roles, so that way it shows up towards the top of the list. Because if your live stream role is lower than your other roles, nobody will see it. They'll have to scroll down to see live streaming. So you want it relatively above all the other roles on your Discord server, with the exception of, say, who you want to see as your administrators at the top of your role list. The next thing you're going to want is the bot, which we'll show you in a second when install. The bot we're going to use is going to be called yagpdb.xyz. That's the bot that does this. So you're going to want to go to yagpdb.xyz. You're going to sign in. You're going to give permissions to access your Discord server. Then when you do that, then you've got to go back to your Discord server and you've got to drag its role above that new live streaming role. Because again, a bot can only grant roles to roles that are below the hierarchy of the bot itself. So the bots themselves have to be above the role or else they won't be able to change the user's permission for that role. So you can see the YAG PDB that XYZ is right above the live streaming role, so therefore it's able to change any users in these lower roles to that role. Also, when users are in multiple roles, like you have your everyone role, your trusted role, you can save all these roles, uh, and they're added to multiple roles, you're going to want to make sure that you go into your role here and say display role members separate from online members. If you don't do this, then that means that you'll just see them online and they won't show up under this role as well when they're online. So you're going to want to make sure you have this this uh, set on, display role members separate from online members. So that's the minimum thing you need for the live streaming role. Again, the live streaming role, you're going to want to typically, if you want them to be able to post into the same channels that they can as one of your other roles, give it the same permissions as your other roles <clears throat> or else permission it however you want. Like if you want to block them from posting or chatting on your channels while live streaming, you can reduce the uh, permissions to the live stream role so that they can't chat your channels while they're live streaming. But I don't, I don't do those restrictions, but some other channels do. I've been in other channels where they don't let you post in the general chat channels while your live streaming role is enabled while you're live streaming. It's a way to prevent, um, I guess, spamming or whatnot, but just or accidentally streaming while you're chatting in the Discord channel or something. So that's just something up there. So once you have that set up, then all you need to do is go to the yagpbd.xyz bot. You know, the, the bot offers a lot, but I use Me6 for most of my stuff, so I'm just going to cover this specific function, and that's going to be notifications and feeds, streaming, right? You enable this right here, and I don't use the announcement on a channel because I use Me6 for my announcements, but you could use it to announce, announce on a specific channel whenever somebody's live. So then you choose which role you're going to assign somebody when they're detected live streaming in Discord. And of course, you have the live streaming role. And then your two options here are whitelist, so that say you want to only offer this to somebody who reaches a certain role or rank in your Discord server, you can restrict that to, to say, uh, YouTubers, Twitch streamers, trusted. You can restrict it to only people who are in a certain role already will will have this function to where they get put in this live streaming role. I have it open to everybody while I was testing. I don't have a big enough Discord server that I feel like whitelisting this to a specific role. The other thing is you ignore a role. Um, and in this case, I'm ignoring the bot role because I found a lot of bots themselves will put themselves or have themselves in the live streaming role, especially when the bot owners go live on Twitch. So I ignore all bots that put bots in a bot role. So that way bots don't go in the live streaming role. Other than that, you save the stream settings and then you're good to go. And then when everybody, anybody's live streaming on your server, they'll be put in the live stream realm. Now here's the caveats. Anybody who's above the role, like for instance, I'm an administrator and I have my Dragon Bloggers team. If they go live streaming 
because their role is above this role, they won't be able to. They won't be put in the live streaming role. It only applies to roles under the live streaming role. So just note a, note about that is that only roles under the live streaming role can be assigned and put in the live streaming role because again, that Yag Z bot only has the ability to affect roles under it. I didn't want to give it permission to modify my administrators or my direct teams and roles. So that's how you add a live streaming role to your Discord server and use an online bot. And again, that bot is yagpbd.xyz and how it can auto put users in that role. And then when they go offline again, then they automatically take that out of that role. Thank you for watching. Ask any questions.